Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are actually going to dive into the different uh, note-taking apps, the different most underrated note-taking apps. Uh, so if you are interested in finding a new one and probably want one that not enough people are talking about but it is still an amazing application so it doesn't have that much hype but it is still one of the best options out there in my opinion. In today's video we are going to dive into those applications so let's actually start off with Super Notes and we can start off with the pricing on this because this has a pricing plan of $10 each month if you go for the monthly plan, uh, $91 if you go for the yearly plan which is $8 each month. They also have a four year plan which is just five dollars each month. With that you get unlimited cards, you get feature previews, you get AI superpowers, you get a verified badge and you also get priority support here. You don't get it on the monthly plan so that is the major difference. As you get I think it's a hundred cards on the free plan uh, but after that you actually have to pay for uh, the monthly plan so you will end up having to pay for this uh, in the end anyways. Uh, so uh, the free plan is just to test out the application and see whether or not you can actually uh, you actually like it and it is a good experience. The way this application works is that let's actually turn this into a graph view uh, because it makes more sense because you have the backlinking abilities and it is markdown based. So here you can link things together and the way things are linked is that you have uh, a parent card and then you can have sub cards within those parent cards so if I open up my app cards you can see that I have quite a few apps here. I was on the pro plan for a while but uh, I stopped paying for it uh, but here you can see that it has a bunch of different apps right here and that is what you see in this linking. You can also link as you can see these uh, lines right here. These are backlinks. So here I have actually used uh, double square brackets to link different things together and you can do that as well. You have a heat map on the left here to see which days you have taken notes. You can also create custom collections or you can use AI to create custom collections because the custom collections uh, and the editor here can be a little difficult to understand and get into but you can actually use AI to do it for you. Uh, so that is also something you can do within this application. Uh, so uh, it has uh, some AI capabilities. The other one is that if I jump into, let's actually jump into this right here, uh, and you open up something like this. You could use AI to go through your spelling mistakes, your grammar, things like that, whether or not you have actually tagged this because you can tag this as well. Uh, and AI helps you do those sort of things. Uh, and that actually covers most of the things uh, Super Notes can do. They actually released a video on their own YouTube channel where they uh, deep dived into how um, deep dive into how the application works and different use cases for it and ways of using it. So if that sounds interesting, I would uh, recommend uh, checking out that video. I think it is 24, uh, 25 minutes long, but it is an amazing tutorial on how to use this application. Next up, we have an application I've talked about quite a few times. This is an outliner application. It is called Workflowy and it will set you back either $6.99 or $8.99 uh, USD each month. This has a monthly bullet limit, so you get a set amount of bullets each month and once you have used those up, you can't actually add more bullets that month that is on the free plan if you pay for the um if you pay for the monthly or yearly plan the paid plans you actually uh, get unlimited bullets which is expected so basically the way this application works is that it is an outliner so i can have a note live within another note so i can have a bullet living within another bullet uh, so just to show you how that works i can write test here and i can write test two and then i could jump into this one right here and i could uh, add test three and i could do this uh, forever i could just go on and on and on and as you can see i can go back to uh, here and 
open this up and open this up again and you see how uh, these are nested within each other. So that is basically how uh, this application works, but it has a few uh, cool features as well. So let's say I wanted to manage my tasks inside of here. I could actually do that uh, by clicking into one of these bullets and then pressing uh, up here actually and turning this into a board view. Then my different bullets actually get turned into uh, like the header for uh, the Anbad board. So I could actually change this to to do for example and I could have a, a to do right here. Uh, so let's do to do right here and I could drag this and you can also jump into this if you have to take notes within your to do. So uh, it is a great experience in that way. You can also do long form writing. So if I turn this into a paragraph, I can do long form writing inside of here. I can turn it into a to do, a code block, heading uh, one, heading two. So you have a few opportunities. You don't just have to use this application as a whiteboarding tool. Uh, sorry, as an outliner tool. Um, it's been a long couple of days with these YouTube videos, but uh, you don't actually have to just use it as an outliner tool. You can use it for more than that. The last feature I wanted to show you is the mirror thing. So one of the issues you have in different applications is that things tend uh, to... Um, you tend to end up with duplicates of uh, things, and that is what this application fixes. So I can uh, mirror something here, and I can actually add one of... Let's actually do take out trash. I can add one of my bullets uh, in here, so I can mirror a bullet that actually lives somewhere else. I can mirror it into here with the sub bullet as well. So that is a really neat uh, thing that I wish more applications had. That covers most of the basic functionality in a workflow but this is one of my favorite options. Next up we have Coda and Coda have, has a great free plan which will uh, get you most of the things you need but if you would like to pay for this and you want unlimited dock size uh, the pricing is ten dollars per dock maker so if you're just using this as one person then uh, ten dollars each month is the price you will have to pay uh, when you go into the application it feels kind of like notion uh, it has some of the same functionality so i can do backslash and then i get a bunch of options but it has it is more powerful, it has more automations, uh, you can do formulas, so I could add a formula right here and not just inside of a table. There are a bunch of things you can do with this, but the issue is that it has a huge learning curve to it, uh, so... Um, you will have to spend a bit of time actually learning all of this. And as you can see, there are quite a few things you can add. But the main one is these tables or what you would call databases. So I can use one of the already existing ones right here. And here I've added a database, uh, a board database. I can add filters, I can group things, I can do options right here. As you can see, there are a bunch of options you can use. I can turn this into a table, I can turn this into a calendar, into detail. There are quite a few options. So what I would define this as is a more powerful, more underhyped version of Notion. They are also doing some cool things with AI that you can add so you can chat with the code AI. I think this is a beautifully designed great application. I think the issue with it is that it is hard to learn, even harder to learn than something like Notion, but if you are coming from an application like Notion it might be a little bit easier, uh, but in order for you to utilize all of the features you actually have to spend some time trying to learn this application, which might be one of the reasons why it isn't talked about as much, but I think this is a really great option and I think it is a really great productivity and note-taking application. Next up we have one I've talked about a couple of times before. Um, I wanted to include a little bit of a different one because this is Taskade. And Taskade isn't a note-taking app per se, it is a project management tool that you can use as your note-taking app. This is also heavily reliant on AI, uh, but it is mainly an 
mainly an outliner application, so I can have outline notes right here. I can scroll uh, to see them. Uh, I can drag things to move them. Uh, so here, I can actually drag things to move them. And so you have those opportunities because it is a block-based uh, application. But as you can see, it can feel a little weird if you're not familiar with this kind of way of doing things. But it has every view you could ever dream of. So this is the board view. Uh, you can see it as a list view. You can see it as a calendar view. You can see it as a table view. You can uh, have a mind map and even an org chart. Uh, and a Gantt chart as well. So you have every uh, single one of the views you could ever dream of. I really like the board view. You also have AI agents you can use. Uh, so you can talk to the AI and ask it questions. You can also create AI agents. So let's say you needed uh, an editor for your tweets. You could actually create an AI agent for that. So this application is heavily relying on um, on AI agents. You also have a couple of cool automations. If I press this right here, you can actually add quite a few of them, uh, but not as extensive as you see in many other applications. Another cool thing they've added is that you can actually schedule your tweets. Are they still called tweets? I think they're still called tweets. Uh, but you can schedule your posts to X uh, right from within. Uh, here. That is also a feature I really like. They are working, I think they're working on something for LinkedIn as well. I think they were doing that a couple of months ago. I'm not sure whether or not it is out yet, but if you're looking for more of a project management uh, solution to your productivity, this might actually be your best choice. When it comes to the pricing of this with the free plan, you get one AI agent, one workspace, five AI requests each day, which isn't too bad. Cross-platform access, task list, mind maps, flowcharts, Kanban, I showed you all of this. But with the pro plan, which costs you eight or ten dollars each month, you actually get custom AI agents and unlimited AI usage, which is it is actually worth the price if you consider what uh, AI applications uh, often cost. So you also get unlimited file uploads. You get AI Project Studio uh, and Generator. You get Gantt and Table and custom fields. And you also get integrations with your favorite tools. So it has quite a good pricing plan. Uh, you can also get this for Teams as well. But it is better for smaller teams. Uh, not necessarily as good for big teams. The last application we are going to talk about is actually Ample Note. And Ample Note has a great free plan which gives you everything you need. You can install the applications on Windows or Mac OS, but it is uh, progressive web apps. Uh, you have a file upload size of five megabytes, license for non-commercial use, uh, customer support is not included, but you get the mobile apps, notes, task, and calendar. Uh, with the pro plan, which this is quite cheap uh, for $5.85 each month. You get all the benefits of Personal pl uh, Pro, plus, plus the graph view, sidebar, sync external calendars, six color teams to choose from. The main thing is the graph view here and just supporting uh, the application. You can also pay for the unlimited plan, which gives you vault notes for client encryption of sensitive content. You can publish your notes as web pages or you can pay for the founder plan which is basically just a way for you to support your uh the development of this application you get things like two one-on-one uh, -on -one onboarding calls dedicated discord channel uh, 10x uh, votes on feature roadmaps so things like that that is mainly if you want to support the application basically the way this works is that you have notes within these notes you can actually create to do so I have to do something to to do something. I can just write that for now. I can then schedule it. Let's say this is scheduled for today. Uh, and then I can jump into my calendar view. I can go through my notes here. I have something to do. Let's say that this didn't actually fit to do today. I have to do it on Tuesday instead. And then I can drag this out. So you basically get 
notes, calendars, and tasks in the same application, which is great. So let's say I came up with an idea when, when I was writing my daily note, my journal, I could uh, write down my tasks and then I could jump into the calendar within the same application and actually, um, and actually uh, schedule it from right there. That is the whole idea of this application is to have everything in one place. But you also have great note taking functionality. So you have backlinks here, for example, so I can link different things together. It is double square brackets and I can link this to Mental Health Stats UK, for example. Uh, and I could do uh, that and I could then look at it in a graph view. So it is quite a simple application compared to many of the others on the list. So I have a daily note, I have a regular note, I have my tasks and I have my calendar and all of these are meant to work together. So whenever I take a note uh, here and I add a task to it, I can then uh, schedule that task and put it into my calendar. So uh, that is the main things about this application. The UI might feel a little weird uh, and maybe not the most beautiful application. I think that bothers a lot of people. Uh, it uh, definitely bothered me and is one of the reasons why I can't get this application to stick. I don't feel like it is quote unquote beautiful enough, but that is like, that is something I struggle with. Most people will actually uh, get away with uh, using an application like this because it is so powerful and you will make it stick because not everyone as is as picky as I am, but that covers it for today's video. That was all of my favorite underrated productivity applications going into or note taking applications going into 2025. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.